Good morning, students! Here I am again, your teacher in Art 4, Teacher Eileen. Today, I will introduce to you the sculpture and weaving designs of the Philippines with a learning target, discuss the intricate designs of mats woven in the Philippines, and create a small mat using colored paper that can be woven and shows different designs. Are you ready to explore? The different textile craft of the Philippines? Very good! Before anything else, let's define first what is sculpture. Sculpture is created by shaping or combining materials. Aside from carving and modeling, sculpture may also be assembled by gluing or by making the materials harden by using fire. Sculpture also is a visual art that deals with three-dimensional art. Any solid with three-dimensional art piece is a sculpture. Next, we will define what is textile craft. Textile craft uses plant, animal, or synthetic fibers to construct objects. The word textile is from the Latin word texere which means to wave. Textile also has been used since the olden times as a cover-up for the human body. They also serve as a status symbols for different groups of people. They are also used to keep positions and valuable belongings safe. They can also be used to decorate furniture and houses. At this juncture, we will discuss the four defining characteristics in sculpture. Number one, it is the only three-dimensional art form. Number two, it is representational. Number three, it is viewed as an art in solid form. And number four, traditionally it is by two ways, carving or modeling. This time, we'll define what is the textile craft in the Philippines. And it is weaving. It is a method wherein two distinct sets of yarn or threads are interlaced at right angles to form a fabric or cloth. Most of the cultural tribes in the Philippines are excellent weavers. This product are getting attention from cultures all over the world. These allow each tribe to enhance their living while keeping their waving tradition alive. At this point, we'll proceed to Basi, the Samar Buri Mats. Basi Samar is known for its woven products such as mats, wool, decorations, and placemats. They are most famous for their banig. A banig is a hand-woven mat used for sleeping and sitting. It is made of buri palm, pandan or sea grass leaves. These leaves are dried and dyed then cut into strips before weaving them into mats. Colorful baniks are more expensive than simple ones. This is Basi of Samar Buri Mats. Next we have Ilo Ilo Bamban Mats. The Bamban Mat is another famous banik from the Visayan region. It is made from the banban reed, making it quite difficult to shape and bend but once finished, it gives a natural glossy effect on the mat. Banban mats do not have other colors aside from its natural color. It is still used widely in Iloilo. Next, we have Bajau and Samal mats. Design-wise, the Bajau and Samal mats are very interesting. They use a pandanus plant which is abundant in Tawi-Tawi where these tribes are found. Once harvested, they remove the rib of the leaf and rolled into a hole then tied. They use pandanus for their mats. After that, it is cooked through the boiling water in a pot held by a rack to keep in the bottom. 
The process removes some of its color. Then the coral is placed and dried under the sun. As it dries, its natural colors fade. Thus, it can be dyed in different color. The tribes use chemicals for their mats. Let's go on to the four general patterns of mats. First, the stripes. Second, the multicolored squares or designs. Third, checkered. And fourth, zigzag. These are the different general patterns of mats. Last but not the least, Romblon Buri mats. The mats made in Romblon are unique. They are made of buri palm, but the most distinct characteristic of this mat is their lacy edges. It is made from buri. They are used in special occasions like weddings or when an important guest is visiting. This is buri mats from Romblon. For your activity, Create different patterns of weaving using paper. Follow the images below to create zigzag mats. After that, figure out how to make different ethnic patterns such as diagonal and diamond weaves. First step, weave strips two slats at a time. Number two, on the next strip, weave the first slat down the weave and then next two slats up. On the third weave, weave two slats down and then two slots up. Continue the pattern. Soon a zigzag pattern will be visible. Once finished, glue the loose ends at the back of the mat. Are you ready? You may now start right away and good luck! Hopefully, you learned something about the different textile craft, specifically the sculpture and weaving designs of the Philippines. I am your teacher, Teacher Eileen. See you soon and saying thank you for listening and goodbye.